Hey everyone, today's video is going to be on really old household products. I have a few cleaners, I have a few automotive products, but it's mostly going to be things like home pesticides. I have a whole bunch of them. First thing is dry chemical stain extinguisher. Okay, next product. Here's some oil treatment from 1982. Next product I have is a can of Rust-Oleum from 1984. It's sold at Marketplace, okay, for only a dollar ninety-nine. I wish spray paint was still two dollars. It almost doubled its price since the 80s Next thing I have here is a pesticide, aphids, red spider, mites, and many other insects. You put this on your fruit, flowers, a lot of chemicals technically don't expire, that's why you won't find many dates on these. But you know they're old just by the way they're packaged. Containers don't have paper labels like this anymore. They don't package them in this dark glass. They don't have metal caps anymore. Okay, next thing I have here is an old container of air freshener by Wizard. 
I believe I saw one of these before, months back, in that abandoned house from the 1800s. This is, it looks like the same product. Except, I think the one from that house was a bit rusty. The reason I bring that house up, because that house no longer exists. The owner of it let the fire department burn it down for training, and in the process, he doesn't have to demolish it now. Once it burned to the ground, they bulldozed it into the basement and filled it in. Next time I'm out that way, I'll get some before and after clips of that. That'll be interesting to see the house gone. I saw some pictures of it that the fire department posted, and it's the shed is still there, I believe. Here's some old dish detergent. This thing here, when I bought this and smell it, it really brings back memories. This old smell. I don't know if they still make the scent, but I haven't smelled it in many years. Just look at the shape of the container. Do they even have that kind of container anymore? I don't think they do. Next thing I have here is general purpose degreaser. It's got a little bit of rust on it. I might actually use this for projects like restoration videos. So I will kind of want to use it up before the container rusts through. Because if it starts leaking, it's useless. Show this again quickly. I forget which side I showed. You could tell that sat in someone's house a really long time to get that kind of dust. Next container I have isn't too old but I think it qualifies to be in this video. I actually used this today to disinfect some things. It's not too old. But why not throw it in with this stuff? 2003. In four more years I can call that vintage. Here's some liquid dye. 79 cents. I'd never heard of washer dyeing before. You dye your clothes a certain color while they're in the washing machine. I've never heard of that if that's what this is actually for. Next product I have is Bruce Clean and Wax. It sold for 59 cents. That's a huge container for 59 cents.
Next I have High Yield Root Killer. Why is it in this bag? I don't think it's leaking. Kills roots and fungus in sewer pipes and septic tank drain fields. This would have came in handy a few years ago. I know someone that just had to hire a company to come out and cut some tree roots that were growing into their septic line. Caused a backup all over the basement floor. Next product I have is Ortho Weed Be Gone. Ortho doesn't sell their products like this anymore in the metal. They're all in plastic bottles now. And most of them now aren't even that powerful. You see bugs walking around on harm that day. But when you put down some of these older things, and they really work good. And before you use a pesticide this old, you really should do your research on it. Because some of them are dangerous to humans. Other ones aren't. Other ones they just stop selling. Probably because they work so good. And there's other ones they stop selling because it eventually gets into your water supply. If you're somebody that has a well... But if you don't have a well and you live in like a city, I don't see the problem with them. Next thing I have here is Japanese beetle bait. Sold for $4.97. And it looks like you would have put it inside of that thing. You would have had to buy a Japanese beetle trap. I like to see how all these old products, they're kind of made locally. You don't see anything that far away. Next I have is Orange Clean Degreasing Foam Cleans while it clings So this is for your kitchen Oh, you can use it on your barbecue too That's what it's showing in the picture There's something about this packaging. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera, but at the screen, it looks like when you try to record something on the TV. 2001. That's not that old yet. Next thing I have here. This looks kind of like a really modern container, right? But it's actually quite old. So this is pretty much caulking.
you'll see a date here somewhere. There it is, 1986. See that? That's how it was filled from the bottom. Next product I have here is Decon Forgon Automatic Rim Fogger. Kills 17 kinds of bugs in 4 hours. So this is a pest bomb, like if you have cockroaches or bed bugs, you set it off in the house and you leave. Don't forget to disconnect any pilot lights. This basically, yeah, it's the same thing that the box said. Next, I have some silicone spray sold for a dollar ninety nine. Cars, guns, squeaky drawers, squeaky doors, windows, garage door tracks. Next I have some vintage tree wound spray. You can still buy this stuff, but a lot of people don't recommend it these days because there's a lot of harm it actually does along with the good. Yeah, it keeps bugs out of there, but it also causes rot. They have a new stuff that actually does a pretty good job. Over time it decomposes and it actually can breathe so it doesn't cause rot and it protects against bugs the newer stuff the newer stuff comes in a can there's like a paintball or a cotton ball brush that stuff works good it's a cool container I don't think it's ever been used it's really heavy I think it's full
Next up is Cabot Brush Cleaner. Non-flammable. It says non-flammable, but I opened this earlier, and boy does it stink. It smells like it would light up. It smells like it's it's stronger than gasoline. It's an awful smell. I can't believe that it wouldn't be flammable. Someone was using green paint. Next I have Ortho Multi-Purpose Garden Spray. What are the active ingredients in this? A lot of these older ones contain something called Chlordane. I did some research. Chlordane is not available to the public anymore, but owning it's not bad. You can still own the stuff. A lot of pest companies still use that. That's one of the things that gets into people's wells, so you gotta watch where you use that. It also stays in the environment for 30 years and it's cancer causing, so I don't know who would actually want to use that stuff. Instead of using pesticides, usually I use Ortho 7 powder on a lot of day lilies I have because these red lily beetles are constantly eating them. I looked up natural solutions and it's said to mix one teaspoon of dish detergent in a gallon of water and pour that over there. It worked. Here's another product by Ortho, oil spray. Controls insects, and it, just like the others, it kills a whole bunch of things. Some of these things are super high concentrate. I have a bottle around somewhere by Ortho. It's really old from the 70s. It says in the back of it you put one drop per gallon. That is super high concentrate. And even when you dilute that one drop into a full gallon, the gallon smells like gasoline. It smells like something that would actually kill the plants. But it didn't. I wore a mask sprayed it around, kept the ants away off the patio for a month. Next thing I have here, this thing looks kind of new. What is this, a child safety top? Read this pamphlet. Let's take a look at this spray. Tent caterpillars, anything that controls tent caterpillars. A lot of people say tent caterpillars aren't a big deal. Not really. The gypsy moths are the really bad ones. I've seen places, most of the forest is dead because of them. Dead trees scattered everywhere. And a lot of that's because back during the last outbreak back in the 80s, they were allowed to fly helicopters and dump some of these awful chemicals down. They're not allowed to do that anymore. This container here it's all faded and it looks old, but it's really not because you see it has that cheap plastic label. I 
I'll show it anyways. See how deteriorated it is from its age? Look at, look at that. It's so old it just crumbles. Next thing I have here is some Raid. It's not that old. But I'll show it anyways. I got a few more really old products in a minute. I think this is like 2004. Yep, 2004. Next I have this tiny little can of paint from Rocky's Hardware, sold for only 59 cents. Little job. cents okay so that was a sale price to 59 cents still pretty cheap you know what I wonder you see the green paint is this green paint the same green paint from the the paintbrush cleaner it might be it looks the same next I have some Super flush removes radiator rust. I think this is for a car. Yeah, it's new, full. Chemicals like this, when you throw these out, you you're supposed to bring them to a collection center. Some of these chemicals I got from the, this guy at his tag sale, he was going to throw them all in his trash. Insect killer. When this was sold for 95 cents. Next I have Bayer Advanced Garden Mosquito Killer Plus. I don't think this one is that old. 
by the things it's saying. I don't think there's a date though. Nope. Evergreen plant food. Just holding at the labels falling apart. I got this one from someone's basement that probably sat down there who knows how long. It says it's from 1968. It says not the store in a heat. This here is not old. This is what I use these days. This I found at someone's yard sale. I plan on using this, definitely. It can't be more than a few years old. The packaging kind of looks the same as the new stuff. I got this here. This is pretty old. I plan on using this too. 7.5 dust. I buy that stuff brand new in the, you know, the jar that you shake over the plant. I can refill my jars with this. It's got to be pretty old. Check out that. Kmart. Kmart does not use that logo anymore. With the, the big K before the Mart. Their new labels, it has a K and it says Mart under the K. That's their older logo. Kmart's on their way out too. The one near me doesn't even have a garden center anymore. They got rid of their pharmacy. They got rid of their auto center. Like half the building is abandoned. There used to be a restaurant in there. It's abandoned. You look at it. Nothing in there. I don't even know how Kmart stays in business.